here on Gates Avenue in Brooklyn. We're going to run into famous accountants and see an exhibition by this gentleman, Matthew Miller. Congratulations. Thanks, Lord. So this is your first show here in New York. That's right. And uh, you've been studying at the New York Academy for several years. A couple years, yeah. Let's take a walk through and take a look at some of your paintings. We'll start this chronologically. I guess it's over here on the right side. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the works. They're all self-portraits. Yeah, they're all self-portraits. Stand over there so we can get like a comparison. People well, can... they're all self-portraits, and this kind of this show spans about three years or so because um, Ellen and Kevin wanted to do a show of the self-portraits, um, and it's not all that I do. Um, but in order to have self portraits for the show, it, you know, I needed, needed like three years of work. So and these go back to 2008 to 2011. That's, that's right, yeah. And they take a long time you know, to make. It's, um, you know, the, the shorter ones took maybe a, a little over three months or so. So, and, um, and these here are the first ones I made. In the and this is all traditional oil painting on wood panels. Right. Let's uh, move on down the line. You've, had, you've got different exposures here. You've got the left, the right side. Here's a more of a frontal image. Yeah, this is only, this is actually, the frontal thing is, I, I, I find the three quarters uh, is just automatically kind of a interesting configuration, really. Um, this one in particular, I had struggled a little bit with like just some of the, uh, the I guess, you know, aspects of symmetry looking at something uh, you know, so centered. Mm -hmm. And the heads kind of move around when I, I told you earlier, the heads kind of move around as I paint them. So I, I think he was actually more centered and he, his head drifted a bit to, to the right. Now tell me what is, what's is the attraction with the self portraits? Is that because you always have a model there that you can look was, at? And Well, I think it was that. Now it's a little different. It was more just out of, you know, being practical. I think I've always done a self portrait um, since I've started. Painting, but now I actually feel like it's some kind of, for me, some kind of a, uh, I call it kind of like some kind of like ground zero face because I really don't think of it. I think of these as every men. I call them, they, they're called self portraits to be practical, but I feel like they have more of an anonymity to them. And uh, I use my head because it's there and because I can, if I run out of ideas, let's say how to make a nose or um, how the shape of the head looks, I can feel like I'm getting more specific information if I look at my own. Um, Do you also use this as a kind of a way of uh, maybe presenting different emotional states or? Not, no, not really. Actually, I, I'm like uh, turned off by it. I know it's there, like the psychology is there because it's a, a portrait and it's a self-portrait, but I'm actually not that interested um, in that. I just really use it as kind of a, a ready-made, my head is a ready-made somewhat, and, uh, and like a given you know, a given support, a given structure to kind of put a painting on. Now, I noticed uh, in uh, Ken Johnson's review of the show in the New York Times, he mentioned that you were a Mennonite. Is that true? That's true, yeah. Do you believe that that has affected uh, your approach to art and painting at all? For sure. Well, I mean, I think maybe more so in probably the um, kind of like the, you know, middle America work ethic, work a day kind of, um, studio methodology i think um for for sure it, it has sort of approaching it in the standard straight ahead workman way instead of uh some kind of uh conceptual rock and roll star yeah <laughs> approach to it i can yeah. appreciate that now this is the latest piece that you've done i think this was done in 2011. yeah it's a little bit larger than some of the other pieces and as I was saying, I also think that uh, your surface on this one is even more highly polished than some of the other ones. Do you want to give yeah. us just a quick technical aspect of uh, yeah. what you're doing here? What kind of mediums are you using? Uh, um, well, it's, yeah, it is oil on panel. I, I mean, I'm, I think I use fairly like a, you know, a three-part medium, my own kind of thing. I, um, um, Painting with sable brushes? So, yeah, all synthetic brushes. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, because because I don't want there. I don't like many brush strokes. I guess I want to find other ways to kind of make the painting uh, have a uh, some idiosyncrasies to it. And I find that more like in the actual surface of the panel itself, or the way it paint. You know, so so want them, them to have a material materiality, um, but not without not without or not with 
brush strokes or so, you know, kind of the, uh, um, the obvious kind of uh, manneristic brush yeah. strokes that a lot of people are using. Yeah. But I should say, too, that, you know, back to the, the, um, the Mennonite thing, some, some of I really I saw some paintings um, when I was in Lancaster for a few years, growing up there, and um, that really struck me, and I began to really take an interest in kind of like provincial, paint, early American painters, and um, just kind of taking that, taking that, and so even, even in terms of it, like maybe the sensibility, which some people like to talk about, maybe like Northern Renaissance kind of sensibility, which is fine yes. too. It's there, but um, but also just these early American painters, kind of itinerant, self-taught, roaming, roaming kind of um, painters too. I feel like there's uh, something there. Kind of me. a traditional part of the American painter yeah. legacy. Yeah. So you know, people say you know. Um, John Singleton Copley was the first sure. American painter. I kind of wince at sometimes. When he's I, great. Yeah, he is. He is great, but he's the first American, you know, European taught painter. Um, is what they mean by that. Okay, Matthew Miller here at Famous Accountants. What was the name of the show again? Kevin. You know, I shouldn't. Know. This this I name is too title. long. It's too long. It came to the magic black of an open barn door on a really sunny summer day when you just cannot see into it. You didn't name the show, you get let the let uh, these he, guys. He called, he called the uh, <laughs> title from some notes I sent him. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's sort of Matthew. Thanks. It, but it's actually something, it's a paraphrase of something Jim Herbert said about his work on a studio visit with him. Okay. But All right. With the black, we thought it was like it was perfect because the black backgrounds and the edges are so much a part of the work. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, James. Cole. And thanks, Kate. <laughs>